five NLP tactics to handle lies in conversation. I'm an NLP trainer and I've trained over two and a half thousand people around the world, mostly in small immersion seminars in NLP. And this is my take on that. So tactic number one, you need to interrupt the pattern, but do it in a way that it doesn't become weird or offensive or completely out of character in, in, the, in the conversation. This is especially important in business conversations or deeply personal information where emotions could be at stake. So what you do is you interrupt the pattern. What does the liar expect? They expect you to talk back. They're trying to convince you of something that isn't true and they expect you to continue the dialogue. All you do is you remain silent. You stare at them deadpan, you remain silent, you don't give any sense of what you're thinking, feeling, believing, experiencing. You just stay silent for a little bit. Now, especially extroverted liars, they start to feel pretty uncomfortable because they cannot tell if their lie is effective, if it's landing or not. And so what they start doing, they start backtracking on their lie. So that is tactic number one. Tactic number two is uh, also you remain silent and instead of just staring deadpan at them as if you're experiencing no emotion and you have no opinion, you do something that non-verbally breaks the rapport, non-verbally breaks the connection in a sense, if, if the rapport isn't already broken by having the lie being told. So you do something that non-verbally indicate that you're wanting this conversation to stop, that you're not okay with it without being too big. Yeah, otherwise someone jumps into the, the defense. So what you do is you non-verbally, you could point or angle your body towards the exit of the door, like you're about to walk away from the conversation. Or you can just do this or this, something that stops, breaks the barrier of the communication. So you suddenly break the pattern this way. You could stand up for no good reason, rummage through your pockets, and then sit back down. There's something non-verbal that happened that indicate a move away, indicated a stop, but it's very subtle and people respond to that. The third NLP tactic to work with liars in communication is to actually, when they lie, you repeat the lie back to them. So you're, you're innocent saying, Oh, so you are saying that you arrived on time at 9.15. And then you, you kind of see if they're going to back battle on that. You don't say it accusatory. You don't want to pull up the defenses for more lies to come or anger to come or discomfort to come or shame to come. So what you do is you kind of go, oh, did you arrive at 9.15? Did you? And then you see what someone does. Fourth NLP tactic is a variation of that. Oh, so you arrive at 9.15. Now what a liar tries to do is a liar tends to give more detail for you to start believing their lie. That's kind of what they're into. They make a lot of eye contact, uncomfortably so. So the whole thing about looking away, that is nonsense. People think that that's true, but they actually stare at you deadpan is that when you go, okay, instead of letting them pick the details that they're going to tell, you ask questions from a place of curiosity, not attack, not interrogation, not I've caught you. You go, oh, what specifically did you do when you arrived at 9.15? Um, okay, so was there a lot of traffic? You know, you could say sort of like, what, who, how specifically questions to force them to give more detail, but not in a way that they control the situation. And you keep offering that space with silence with, for them to backtrack, which leads me to tactic number five that you could use to use NLP in conversation. You have to understand that people 
are in a space where they've taught, a, a, they told you a lie for whatever reason, there is a positive intent that motivates that lie. They want to either are afraid of something to tell the truth. They may be protecting a secret. They may want to have something from you. They may want to be, keep things private, whatever the story is, for whatever reason someone lies, is that you need to give them a comfortable out. So you need to kind of go, well, what is the positive intent behind this lie? What are they trying to achieve? And then you need to create a space for them to actually take their lie back and for them to understand that it's okay for them to take their lie back and still experience a positive emotion. So you don't use the words like, think you're lying, take it back. That's a little harsh, but you go, oh, so you arrived at 9.15. You know, I would have been totally fine <laughs> if you arrived at 9.30, you know, I'd be totally fine with that. You know, I'm, I'm late sometimes too, so feel free, you know, <laughs> if you're, if you're kind of like, maybe we're closer to 9.30, I'll be totally be fine with that. So that's how you handle uh, people lying to you um, in conversation uh, without creating a big hoopla or defense system to it. And then you can go on with the meeting, go on with the business meeting and take it from there. If you're interested in NLP, in learning NLP, then contact my back office at globalnlptraining.com. I will make sure that my team sends you some cool free products. Uh, if you want a brochure, all that stuff, we have that there too. I can send you a visualization that combines uh, NLP goal setting with positive psychology. So if you're interested in that, just pop us an email and uh, see you at globalnlptraining.com.